I love you, Mama. Aww. So now what do I do? I spoke with you. I spoke with... Oh, never mind. Alright, Valerie. Next we pray to the Lord Eva. Ryu, it's time for worship. Wait, really? The Lord Eva and his children... Um, it pained me to deceive my beloved. Oh, but I could not follow Eva with the same dedication as he. It was not merely that I had worshipped the dragon god all my life. No, my instinct as a dragon maiden warned me of something sinister lurking behind the benevolent mask of Eva. But I could not guess uh, precisely what. Aha! Years passed, and I still could discover no clue as to how the dark god was feeding upon the surface world. I was then a mother of two, and thoughts of the growing threat lurking uh, beneath the earth were pushed from my mind. But then, the monster attack. I'd forgotten about this. Hmm? What's going on out there? Sounds like quite a commotion. Oh dear. What is this? What's going on? Uh. Oh dear. The village was under attack. The fiends from the netherworld had somehow broken through the gate and escaped to the surface. Begone, foul creature. Oh damn. Oh no. There's no end to them. Where are they all coming from? Ah, uh, this is where she has to... Sacrifice herself. Do I fight these? No, I guess not. <laughs> That's quite lucky. Poof. So the seal had been broken. Somehow. Oh god. It was as I, as I feared, Death Heaven's ever-growing influence had begun to erode the seal. The gate had opened ever so slightly, but even that was enough for the Dark God to send his minions through. And it was at that moment, if left alone, the seal would have continued to weaken, allowing ever more horrible monstrosities to pass. And in time, the seal would present no obstacle whatsoever to Death Heaven himself. I knew of only one way to avert disaster and seal the gate once more. Farewell, my dear Ganar. Farewell, Ryu. Farewell, by my beloved children. Didn't even name you a bit, bit mean. Yeah, and turned into the dragon. She had some serious summoning power. She became huge. Wait, so at the beginning of the game, you were actually said... Oh, maybe they already knew it was their mother. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't played the beginning of the game for a while, so... You know, details of it are... Uh, hazy, at best. Hmm... It was the only thing I could do to restore the seal. To transform into a dragon and seal the gate with my own body. Whoa. That's the dragon's tear. Took all my strength to maintain the form of the dragon. As my consciousness faded into the into its age-long slumber, I could still hear the voice of my dear Ryu. So he actually goes to Where are you? Oh dear. Oh no. Ryu! Oh, there we go. What on earth are you doing out here? It's not safe. Papa, where did Mama go? I don't know. Valerie, come to think of it, where is she? Oh, then they would have heard that. What? What was that sound? It's coming from the mountain. So I'm curious if they knew that she was a dragon. Oh, in God's name, where did this dragon come from? I is it dead? No, it's only asleep. Did this dragon protect us? With the dragon holding the gate closed, the monsters can no longer pass. But where on earth did it come from? Papa, look it. <laughs> look it. That's Valerie's. What is this doing here? Valerie always wore this pendant. Oh. Papa, where did Mama go? Where did she go, Papa? Papa, where did Mama go? Papa? Papa? So he never knew. Really? Oh god, it's deadly silent. It's said that the fate child alone can obtain the true power of the dragon brood. Infinity. The name is spoken in myth and legend, and no one knows its true nature. I believe that if anyone can obtain the power of infinity, it's you, Ryu. Oh. 
Should I go and speak with the Elder? Again? She sacrificed herself to open this path for you, I trust in her decision. Sometimes I wonder why we Dragon Brood have such enormous power. Powers like this could destroy the world. Could it also, could it also be used to defend it? Well, yeah, I mean, it already has, technically, so, you know. That is a dragon statue. Oh, good. Save! Progress has been saved, would I like to continue my journey? I would indeed. Have we been healed? And stuff? Two, 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 two. Yeah, we have. Perfect. Whew. That's one thing I was really worried about. Oh. Do they have shops? Oh my god, that guy's an old man now. Heard all sorts of neat stories about Lady Valerie from my grandpa. I wish I could have met her. Yeah, do they have shops? Uh, wait. Oh. Hmm? You say I look like this girl you know named Patty? Uncanny, huh? Really? It's possible that she's a dragon brood and doesn't know it. I'm serious. Oh. We dragon brood take pride in our duty and our lineage. But not nearly as much as we do in you, Ryu, our fated child. You are our greatest hope. Don't let us down. Great, you're really putting the pressure on now, aren't you? Sheesh. Right, so... It would be our honour to aid the fated child and his companions. You must be exhausted from your journey, would you like to take a rest here? Now we're good. So wait, items? Fated child is such an- it's such an honour, please, buy whatever you want. Items! Oh my god, it's wisdom seeds! Ugh. Wait. I need to buy four. As for wisdom seeds, as many as I possibly can. That'll do. Panaceas, ammonias, would also be nice to have a bunch of... I'll buy one. And I'll buy however many and vitamins. I think I'll buy more of these. And whoosh. Right now I just need to sort all my stuff. Not use. Sheesh. Auto. Whoosh. Perfect. Now I have more than enough. Oh, I should do. I probably should save now that I've bought everything, just in case I do die. You say I resemble a man you have met called Ray? What a peculiar tale, isn't it? I hail from the Black Dragon Brood. If this Ray you speak of looks like me, it's likely he may also be descended from the Black Dragon Brood. His dragon form was black. Being so close to Death Heaven for so long may have changed our appearance, but nothing can change our hearts. Hmm. I mean, it seems as if Ray was... He, he was part of the Dragon Brood. It was just he got converted over to... The Lord Eva. Mostly because he was forced to. <laughs> I would indeed. Right, now I've actually saved. Very nice. Whoops. Oh god. Beyond these doors lies the tower where Death Heaven the Dark God remains sealed. Only the fated child may open them. Okay. Wait, you look like Patty too. Say what? Don't you dare call me Pats. Oh god. Oh. Oh, right, it's an elevator. Uh, okay. Hmm. Are there enemies here? Oh, of course there bloody are. Well, whatever. Shite. God, it's a free again. I don't care, I'm doing my same deal. Banish. Banish the douche. Yes! Ooh, okay. Wait a minute. Oh, please do not say... I have to go all the way around. Bullshit. Whoa, okay. <laughs> a dragoon! How powerful are they? Oh, 15 damage! Damn. Oh, 12. Well, one's down at the very least. I'm wondering what the hell's in the building. Yeah. Nice! You got to level 50. Little whoever. Got to level 54. What the hell is in here? Whoa! Ooh. Okay. 
Click. Yes. Oh. Uh, okay. We Dragon Brood have the strength to combat the darkness in this world. A true hero of the Dragon Brood will find great allies, strong in heart and body. All Dragon Brood have the power to change their form into that of the great beasts of legend. But only the one chosen by fate can wield that power to its fullest. Infinity is the ultimate expression of the Dragon Brood's power, and with it, even the blackest of evils can be conquered. I'm gonna talk to the guy in red blessed. Infinity is power without form. He who seeks the power of infinity must sacrifice every uh, something of great value in return. It is a task few have ever have the inner strength to accomplish, and one must have great inner strength to wield infinity. Without infinity, you stand no chance of felling the dark god Death Heaven. But your chance of defeating him may cost you something you can never replace. Oh no. It better not be like sacrificing a party, dude. I fucking hope not. We are the Dragon Sages. The guardians of the greatest power of the Dragon Brood. Do you wish to hear our story, young young hero? Okay. Go forth and seize the greatest power of the Dragon Brood, the power of infinity. Wait, what? Whoa. Oh, is this like Nina, when she gained the power of the Great Bird? She was transported to an area on her own. Wait, what? Wait, we're in the same area? Oh god. Mm-hmm. You who seek the power of infinity, you must now face a cruel decision. Enter each of the rooms behind me and speak with whom you find within. Oh. Oh god. This is quite a place we've ended up in, eh, partner? I don't know if I'll be any help from here on out, but I'll be behind you all the way. Oh! Okay. I'm very confused. Are these just dead end rooms? Um. What? Oh, I'm confused. I'm, conf I'm very confused. Don't say a word, partner. Pick me. You're not the only one who can lay his life down for the greater good. Let me do this. We do. We really have to sacrifice somebody? No. If it gives me an option to deny it, then I'm going to. Never thought you'd turn out to be a real hero, Ryu. If anyone can get a grip on this infinity stuff, my bet would be on you. Run joined! Yeah! When I first started out with you, I had no idea what kind of trip I was in for. Ryu, I'm proud to say that meeting someone not meeting you has been the best thing that's ever happened to me. Let me take care of this. You kids can handle the rest. No! I don't want to do this! God, I hate choices like this. There isn't a choice that is harder to make. Oh god, of course, Lin. I'll admit I'm not good, good for much except beating the crap out of stuff. But I'll do whatever I can to help, Ryu. You can count on me. I mean, this is really sweet, but also, I have- I might have to sacrifice somebody. Again, I'm sticking by the whole hope that I can just say no. Screw yourself. There's something I never got around to telling you back at the Coliseum. Thank you for saving me. I owe you my life for you, and I pay all my debts in full. That does not mean your life is something I can just throw away. Also, you're, like, part of my party, so it ain't happening. I really hope I can use fusions. I never even thought about it. My travels with you have opened my eyes in ways I never thought possible. Ryo, I wouldn't trade the time I've spent alongside you for anything. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hey! She's gonna make a confession. I just realised, we're actually seeing them in the order we found them. Yeah. All my life, these black wings have been my prison. I honestly believed that to vanish from the face of the earth was my only way I could aid the ki king my kingdom. You have opened many roads for me, Ryu. You have helped me see all the ways I can help the entire world. Allow me to become your strength, Ryu. Hmm. Wow. Ba -ba 
Okay, so there's three more. We have Sten. Oh no! Wait, where's Sten? Tap it though. I do not believe that people themselves can be wicked. What we have in this world are wicked intentions and people too weak to resist their temptations. We people cannot become strong on their own, so it falls to us to save them by ridding the world of wicked intentions. Can you not see my reasoning? Hmm. Uh... I'm surprised it was Tapita, and not Sten. Perhaps it is cowardice instead of courage, but I would rather bear the anguish of the world than watch even one person suffer in my stead. Perhaps my entire life has been lived in anticipation of a moment such as this. Hmm? I still don't understand why they have two bits of dialogue, like they join your party and then they talk to you some more. It's confusing. To say the least. So is this Sten? It must be. Wait, is the last one going to be blue then? I swore I'd never find myself fighting on the front lines again. But after meeting you, I can say I'm happy to break that vow. Sorry, I'm out of character. <laughs> yeah! Sten was a really cool dude. Yeah, he's just such a- he is a character. If there's any way I can be a service to you, my life is yours. That's what you'd say if you were in my position, isn't it, Master? Well, go on. My life is yours. I'm mostly curious if Blue is actually going to be in the other one. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> is it Blue? No, it's Spa. Blue doesn't count. I've been coming to some unusual conclusions lately. There are things in this world that have no rational explanation, the power of the human will, for one. It's possible that a strong heart alone can save the world, even though the idea may fly in the face of logic. The deepest mysteries and the greatest strength may both lie within the human soul. Yeah, I completely forgot about Aspara. Don't know how. No, I was just... I kept thinking... Blue. But... Obviously, because she's an, an optional character, she isn't included. We men are born knowing no emotion. We do not love, fear, uh, hate, or fear. Know then that my suggestion is based purely on a pragmatic consideration of the situation at hand. Select me as the least sacrifice for the greatest gain. No! I don't care who it wants me to sacrifice. I don't want to sacrifice anybody. I am really hoping that my team, like, maintain their fusions. Now that you have spoken to all your allies, you may proceed to the next room. Speak with the man within and listen carefully to what he has to say. Okay. So who is it? Who is this mystery person? Uh... Oh, it's... it's... it's me. It is required of you, Seeker of Infinity, to make a great and terrible decision. Infinity's power is found in the bond you share with each of your companions. Their faith in you is the true power of the Dragon Brood. If you want to obtain infinity yourself, then that faith must be tested to its utmost. One of your companions must willingly make the ultimate sacrifice, or else your quest shall be in vain. But, you must choose who shall be the sacrifice. Yourself. Do you understand? Oh, uh, uh, I do. Or should I just say, I don't? Ah! Uh, I mean, I do understand. You have gained many powerful allies in your journey, precious friends, even after such a short time. To ask one of them to die must seem like an impossible request, but is the only way you can save this world. Only you can make this decision, Ryu. You've gained many powerful allies. Oh god, maybe you could- oh god, did I screw this by saying I do understand? I hope I didn't. Oh. I assume you understand what is being asked of you now. You must sacrifice the one you sh who you share the strongest bond with. Choose who you shall sacrifice and then enter their respective room. Oh, I can speak with myself. Wait a minute. Oh my god, I might not have had to re redo all that after all. Oops. So I assume you understand what is being asked of you now. Sacrifice the one you share the strongest bond with. So if I went back in here... And spoke to myself. Oh my god, I did cock it up. I didn't need to reload. Ah, oh, shit. You cannot decide upon a sacrifice. You have many great friends. It may be difficult to part with one of them, but they are all willing to give their lives. Muster your courage, young hero, and choose. I won't. 
You speak nonsense, boy. You are the fated child. You are strong enough to make this decision ten times over. The sacrifice of one will allow you to save all. Your friends understand this. You do, would do well to honor their decision. Choose your sacrifice. I will not. There we go. Coward, you would choose your friends over your destiny. A weak heart such as yours could never triumph over the Dark God. Redeem yourself, boy, and choose. Choose who shall die so that you may triumph. Never! Fall a weakling such as you has no business challenging the Dark God. Fate child, ha, huh? your journey ends here. Uh. Mm. Okay. Ah, oh, don't freak, don't freak us out like that. I thought you'd kicked it for sure. Indeed was locked in mortal combat with the darkness in his own heart, but he ultimately triumphed over it and now he's obtained the power. Yes, everyone. He has found infinity within himself, and in doing so, to be ever worthy of your friendship. Go forth, Ryu. The trust your friends place in you is your greatest power. Never forget that. Why are they not fused? That's got... That's the most annoying thing ever. Especially the fact there's no quick way of getting back here, so I'm literally just locked with... Having them... I mean, they're not bad. Lin's bad. Nina's not so bad, but her in her other farm has loads of AP. <sighs> That's just annoying. Yeah, because I lose all the fuse. It's so dumb. I don't have Banish either! Fuck! Oh, that was so useful! And I get the feeling even if I tried to leave, it wouldn't let me. Ah, uh, fuck a doodle do. Well, don't really got a choice now, do I? Inferno! I guess. Man! <laughs> How much AP does Rand have? I really hope he has quite a few. He has 196. Oh my god, he's got nothing. And even Lin's down to being, like, having crappy AP and crappy power. So dumb. All the things that could happen, I really wish. Getting rid of their fusions was not one of them. It's just retarded. I just want to flee everything. Just, I don't want to fight. Oh god. Wait, so there's stairs. Oh my god, I'm surprised that it let us. So, oh, is that going to lead me over to that? That other chest? There's no way! Oh, come on. Uh. Great. These things are fucking powerful, my god. There was never an issue when everybody was fused, but now, oh god, it's different. I really wish there was a quicker way of getting back here as well. But I don't think there is, so I'm stuck with the party I'm, I've got. If only I didn't decide to go and get that. To... To get the power, the new power. I would have probably been way better off, because I would have had a fused party. Although it, it might have been possible that, you know, winning would be impossible. Oh my god. How the hell am I going to kill these things? They have access to rejuvenate. Which does not help. Okay. Well, there we are. Hey! One down. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I should actually look at what the new power is. Whether it's anything good or not. The worst part is I'm not even... It's not looking like I'm going to be able to finish the game in this session, either. Not really, which is even more annoying. I just want the game to be finished. I really do. Although, to be fair, if I do finish the session, what I could do is go back and get the fusions. 
here, which is a very tempting thing. I just don't want to go into this without having a fusion party, or, you know, a powered up party. I just really don't. Because they're not weak as shit, but they're not anything. Oh, the only downside is we have no way of getting out of here easily. Don't have access to a Spyro, do I? Oh, we know we do. If I go to a Dragon Statue, I could just warp out. And that'd work. Well, maybe. I don't even know if it'll let me warp. It might, but it probably won't. <laughs> oh, whatever. I mean, I might just like, finish this recording and then record the rest of the game later on today. Or tonight. I really do want to just finish the game and have it over and done with. It makes it sound like I'm sick of the game, but it's not. It's the fact I wanted to go into this session and complete the game. It's just the game has a lot more to it than I thought. Or a lot more remaining than I had thought. Although I do feel like a complete dumbass because I decided to re redo a choice that I didn't need to. So, well, that'll be getting cut out. Oh, for fuck's sake, are you serious? Huh. Yeah, I couldn't escape. You won't be able to escape. Yeah, fights like this just make this so much worse. Because it goes on forever. Oh no, we've been silenced. Yeah, I'm just going to set it to auto and leave him to it. Because, I mean, even if I look through the rest of this guide, there's still a fair bit. Also, it would seem, which is ridiculous. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm really blown away, to be honest. But we have the new power. I still haven't looked at what it is, and I probably should. <sighs> okay. But I think it'd be a good idea anyway, just to be able to leave this place, bulk up, and fuse and everything, and then come back and redo it. I mean, yeah, I don't know, they might have changed it. Kind of like they did with the cafe. In that you could leave the cafe, but the first time you went you had to go through four different rooms. So, it might have done that, but <laughs> I highly doubt it. Ugh, come on. These things are the worst. They have no health, stupid defense, and they don't die. Oh, there we go. Hooray! Another one down. Worst part is, I would, I would flee, but I can't. This is literally a fight I can't get away from. <laughs> oh, dear. It's the only downside to fusions. You get kind of used to them. And when you don't have access to them, it becomes really bad. My god, they get to attack first. I didn't even realise. Oh, of course they do. I'm assuming their um, fused counterparts are nowhere near as powerful. Uh, as fast, even. I swear, if it's more of those fucking things. Thank you! Oh god, great. Don't care, let me the fuck away. Please. Oh my god. Is this place just filled with things I can't escape from? Ugh. Well, at this point, I might as well just attack. Attack! Kill everything! Please! Ugh. Sheesh. Wait, what? Uh, hello? I didn't realize that Rand had access to one hit kill. That was a weird thing to just pop up out of nowhere. Hmm. Yeah, I did this all for a fucking chest. What else? Oh, it's a freak. <laughs> and I can't escape. Great. Really do not want to fight this thing. Try again. Actually, oh no, that would be pointless. I might even be able to escape this place. I've just realized. That elevator might have been a one-way thing. 
I mean, there is a way of dying. Just get myself killed. Deanna's gown. Uh, okay. Okay, so it's better. Nope. Oh, that might be... A, the one-hit kill might be a part of his weapon. Final blow, maybe. Okay. My god, I just want to make it back to the room with the fountain. You have initiative! Perfect. Let me leave. Okay. Made quite a bit of progress. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. I don't care. Woo! Come on, come on, come on. Come on, like it. What? Get out of here. Jesus. You can't escape from a single enemy. You suck. <laughs> Essentially what the game's just telling me. Repeatedly. It's still it's just really weird that you can't flee from one thing. Oh, man. Either way, I think I am going to actually call that the end of this session. But I'm disappointed because I really did want to finish the game. But I didn't realise there was going to be two plus hours worth of game left. So that is going to be the end of this session. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And until next time, take care.